Hey everybody, it's Stoner. My my little cat. This is Harry. This is Moose. And I'm not sure if you can hear the music in the background, but what you're listening to is uh, Kitaro. It's pretty cool. Very mellow, ambient music. Very good, man. Very cool. I like it. Uh, it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. As I've said before, every Sunday. Um, this is kind of like a repeat somewhat of like last week. Uh, uh, I went um, up to the flea market, farmer's market in Mount Carmel. Uh, got a couple CDs. Uh, and then uh, later on in the day, I went to the uh, Shemoke Music Center, or market, here in town, which is only a couple blocks away. And he had a sale on. He's got a sale on all this week. Um, it's up on Lincoln Street, here in Shemokin. Uh It's buy two items, $5 each. Uh, buy two items, get a third free. Uh, that's for items that are... Uh, um, five dollars a piece. Most of these stuff is five bucks a piece. Uh, so you, you know, spend ten bucks, get one recording free, whether it's an album, CD, you know, whatever. So, and I went there and I got two, and I got another free. And I'll show what I got. Uh, this is what I got at Mount Carmel. Uh, I've been wanting this for a while. Uh, I've got it in vinyl, but I don't have it on CD. It's Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. First CD. Uh, it's got uh, two of his biggest hits, Breakdown and uh, American Girl. And it's produced by uh, Denny Cordell, who's huge in, in the music business. He, uh, he's been produced and performed on uh, a first couple of Joe Cocker albums. Uh, with the help from my friends and Joe Cocker. That's my annoying. Second one I got is by a group that I really like. Uh, <coughs> they are known for using a chainsaw as a musical instrument. You probably know who that is. And uh, they kind of remind me of, of Black Oak in a way. Um, they're Jackal. It's, I'm called, it's called Cut the Crap. Really good. This is a really good album. Uh, there's a few ballads in it, but it mainly it just rocks. It just rocks. Um, yeah, if you, I like Jackal. I need to find uh, Push Comes to Show, which is her second album. This is the third album. Uh, if you're easily offended by language, you won't like this one. And also. Uh, the song Lock and Loaded, if you look at the hype sticker, features Brian Johnson. I don't know if you can focus on that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. But it's good. Uh, Dumbass Country, Country Boy, Locked and Loaded, Open Up. Uh, Misery Loves Company, uh, Let's Don't Go There, Cut the Crap, Twice as Ugly, uh, God Strike Me Dead, Thanks for the Grammy. Which is a sarcastic song. Uh, Speak of the Devil and Push Pull. Really good CD. Uh, it's a good band. They're definitely underrated. Uh, they're fun. Uh, they're a cool band. Uh, and these next three I got at uh, the Shemokka Music Mart here in town. Uh, this is basically this band's last studio album um, it's what from screaming tree uh, screaming trees it's called dust uh, lead vocalist uh, mark Langan I believe that's his name uh, recently just passed away this is an incredible album his vocals are just outstanding uh, if you don't know who screaming trees are um, they had a hit back in the 90s called uh, Nearly Lost You. Uh, 
It was a big hit on MTV. It was also um, on the soundtrack to singles. Um, a movie that Cameron Crowe did uh, around the, the Seattle scene. You know, the grunge era. Some of you guys don't like, I love the grunge era. It was like, it was a revitalization of rock and roll. Rock just got boring and blah with all the hair bands. Um, it, it, it just it kept repeating the same kind of crap over and over, you know, about, you know, getting laid and stuff. And it, it just got boring after a while. And then these guys came and totally just blew everything out of the water. Uh, also got this. Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, No Quarter. Unplugged. Basically, it's unplugged. Pretty cool. Heavy uh, Middle Eastern influence, influences on this. Uh, they do, um, of course, the title track, No, no Quarter, Nobody's Fault, Thank You, uh, Friends. Um, I can't pronounce that thing. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, City Don't Cry, Since You've Been Loved, Since I've Been Loving You. Bell of Evermore, uh, Wonderful One, which I've never heard before, which I listened to this. That's the way Gallows Pole, Four Sticks, and Cashmere. It's an incredible, incredible CD. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. And the second one, I, the, the free one that I got was Cheap Trick Budokan 2. This is somewhat of a continuation of uh, Cheap Trick at Budokan. These were recorded uh, in, in ugh, I forgot. <laughs> I did. I forgot. I had it in here, and it just went away. Uh, but they got tracks like uh, Yellow Kids, uh, or is Yellow Kids, uh, High Roller, uh, Southern Southern Girls, uh, Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace, California Man. Down, stiff competition. How are you? On top of the world. Uh, O'Carroll uh, can't hold on. Blah blah blah. It's just very cool. Let's keep drink part two. Uh, today, Sunday, like I said, and I went to Rizzo's. Uh, usually get there early. I get early. I got uh, got some CDs. I got like four CDs and a couple cassettes and. Some albums, so we'll go through this quick. For the cassettes, Alison Krauss in Union Station. Uh, this is Every Time You Say Goodbye. That's what I paid for the block. Uh, next one is Alison Krauss in Union Station. Uh, two Highways. Love her voice. Absolutely love her voice. Uh, this is Bluegrass. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, I've, I've already got another album with her and Union Station. Yeah, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, okay, the CDs. <coughs> this is a, a band out of Delaware <coughs> that came out uh, during the, the grunge era. Um... And it's sort of grunge, but it's not. Uh, it's and it's their last CD. They broke up shortly after this uh, uh, because they were this this particular CD didn't sell. They're Smashing Orange. No return to the end. Oh, no return, no return in the end. Excuse me. It's just ironic because it's their last CD. Um, I sampled it, streamed it while I was up, up there at the Rizzo's. And I liked what I heard. Uh, it's, it's heavy, um, somewhat heavy. Um, a lot of distorted, distorted guitars. Um, it's good. It's it's grungy. It's called it's called shoe something or other, whatever it's called. But the type of music. But it's good. What I what I've what I've heard, and I listened to it on my home. <coughs> Sorry, it's good. It's very good. Uh, next one, I, this is sort of just got to throw the heck of it. This is the Canadian Brass. All you need is love. 
Yes, sir. And Canadian Brass doing Beatles. And it's something like, it's like, for instance, if, uh, get this whole thing out here. It's like listening to the Beatles without the guitars, the bass, the drums, and the Beatles. Very good, man. I'll, I'll run off the tracks with that some here. It's, they're really good. The Canadian brass. I sort of ah, I'll just get out of the way. You know, maybe it's a little novelty, but it's good. They do. Um, when I'm 64, Michelle. I am the walrus. Um, Penny Lane. Yesterday, come together. Uh, she's leaving home. Uh, with a little help from my friends, uh, Eleanor Rigby. You never give me your money. I want to hold your hand, Blackbird, and all you need is love. This is pretty cool, man. It's very unique. Very unique. And they look like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> it's very cool. I, I, I liked it. I really liked it. Uh, this next one I already have on vinyl. No, I don't have it on CD. Mother Earth, Living with the Animals. This has, oh, I can't remember her name offhand, Tracy Nelson on vocals. It's a very bluesy, uh, it's a bluesy album. It's not a blues hard rock, but it's, it's, it's bluesy. And Tracy Nelson has a fantastic vocals. Fantastic vocals. I like this much about the CD. And this is a, an incredible album uh, by Van Halen, something like that, uh, for an awful cardinal knowledge. I had to crank this up on the way, huh? Uh, you know, it's got Pound Cake on it and uh, the other hit right now, that huge mega hit right now. Incredible, incredible album. Um... It's odd because you can hear Van Halen. It sounds like a Van Halen, Van Halen album, but it also sounds like a uh, Sammy Hagar album. So it's a great album. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, enough for the vinyl. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, Bobby Whitlock, Raw Velvet. Take the take off. Don't need to see that. A little extra for this, but that's all right. This is get Eric Clapton. This also has, who's by, who has been getting a bad rap lately from people I've heard here on YouTube and shit. So let's get Eric Clapton on it, which is enough. Uh, um, let's see who else is on here. I can't remember who else. Oh, Jimmy Miller produced it. Um, uh, but, 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 <laughs> All I know is that so I'm done here. Everything is just going. Yeah, this is uh, Raw Velvet by Bobby Whitlock. Uh, this is a really cool album. Um, I saw this. The, the, actually, the, the jacket caught my attention. And it's by a band called Good Thunder. They're, it's heavy, heavy psych. Somewhat in the, the vein of uh, uh, Iron Butterfly. But I think it's a little bit heavier than Iron Butterfly, believe it or not. Uh, it's also a promotional copy, which doesn't matter to me. But, um, I streamed this too. I found this. This is in the five dollar bin. Uh, I streamed this and listened to most of the album while I was digging and stuff. And I really liked what I heard. Um, 
I mean, everything was good. I liked a lot. Very good. Yeah, that's good thunder. Cool. Very good. <clears throat> this, I believe, I have. Um, but um, I think I have. I'm not really sure. sure. Uh, Roberto Flight killing me softly. This is a die cut. Get full. Very cool. And it's got the title song, Killing Me Softly, was his song. Uh, great song. Uh, she has amazing vocals. And she also does her rendition of uh, Suzanne, um, which is amazing. But, uh, yeah, Roberta Flack. I've always liked her voice. Amazing voice. Um, this is a first for me. Um, I got it because I've heard of her before and understand she's really good. Plus, the album's in pretty good shape for a buck. Uh, State of the Heart by Mary Chapin Carpenter. You know, some of you guys, uh, one or two may, you know, let's see. Get used to this guy. What the hell is that? Oh. A little article in there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But uh, quite possibly, I think Chris Profi likes her. I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah. Well, hell, Chris Profi likes everybody. So. Uh, this is a band. This is Stolen Shrink. Light scuffs on it. Very, very light scuffs. It's it's VG, maybe a VG minus. Um, I listened to this too. I streamed this as well, and I really like this. It's uh, blues rock. Some fairly heavy uh, blues rock uh, put by a band called Juicy Lucy. Lay back and enjoy. It's really a good album. From what I've heard, I, uh, there's, so, there's I mean heavy blues stuff on here. Hard rock, heavy blues. Uh, they cover uh, Built for Comfort, Pretty Woman, Whiskey in My Jar. Uh, what else? Okay. Willie the Wimp. Uh, and it's just, a, it's a, I really, really enjoyed this a lot. I was listening to it. And it was great digging. Uh, it's on the Etco label. <coughs> really good. Really, really good. Uh, this is in fairly bad shape. Uh, but it's an album I don't have, so it's basically going to be uh, a spacer until I get a, a better copy of it. This is Redbone, uh, already here. Yeah, it's in pretty bad shape. The jacket is. The uh, album is okay. It's scratchy. Uh, but like I can say I'll just use it for a spacer until, uh, until I get a much better copy. Pretty good band. Pretty good band. Uh, I got this because I saw Don the Old Goat show it. And I figured, well, that's good enough for Don, it's good enough for me. Mother Load. Loggins and Cena. I mean, I've seen this thing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. More than I care to mention, but. Very light ring wear on it. It's not too bad. It's one of the better looking ones I saw. I mean, uh, Mike has one, but it's in the five dollar bin, and I'm not gonna spend the five bucks on it, man. I'm sure it's good. Um, I've never saw this there before, but I thought, well, I'm not a big fan of Don Fogelberg or Dan Fogelberg, excuse me, but uh, I saw this double album. It's called The Innocent Age. For a buck. So, eh, you know, for a buck, what the heck. Yeah, very unique. Unique lab label. Um, full moon. And the vinyl looks really, really, really good, man. Yeah, it needs a good cleaning, but other than that, I didn't, I didn't see any scuffs or anything on it. 
Uh, I don't recognize any of the songs, which doesn't mean anything because I'm not a damn Buck Fogelberg fan, so. But, uh, not a big one, you know. I'm, I like some of his stuff. <coughs> this, I believe, where I have a copy of, which is fine. If I do, I can either gift it out, or trade it in, or whatever. Uh, Sense of Direction, Climax Blues Band. I probably have this. I've got most of this stuff. Um, I have no idea what's on it. I just picked it up because it looked cool. And I thought I didn't have it. But I like Climax Blues Band. Uh, this guy that I've always liked. Uh, I had, don't know any, didn't know anything by him. Uh, Joe South. Uh, don't make it... Uh, don't make you want to go home. And it includes Walk a Mile in My Shoes. Joe South. Here you go, Tony P. Chamber Brothers. I just got this last week on CD. I, I've got another copy that's really beat up. Uh, the check on this on this doesn't look too bad. Um, the vinyl is looks kind of scratchy. Uh, you can see, yeah, it looks pretty scratchy. But uh, yeah, I mean, like the jacket's really nice. Uh, that, that, uh, like I said last time, this incredible song, Time Has Come, um, of course it has one of my favorite harmonica solos, but uh, I can't stand it. I mean, it's just a ripping uh, harmonica solo. Great album, though. Great psych album. Psych, soul, funk, a little bit of rock and roll. I don't think I have this. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, Three Dog Night, but I don't think I have this. Uh, this has a big hit on it. Uh, Cyan. It's called Cyan. Yeah, it's called Cyan. It has Shambhala on it. One of my favorite Three Dog Night songs. I don't think I have this. Maybe I do. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing that a lot when I was digging. Um, I was listening to a lot of music, um, looking at things, and thought, well, I've never heard this band before. Let's see what they sound like. You know, it's a good way not to get ripped off. Uh, Anthology of Harry Chapin. Really good shape. Basically, his greatest hits. Uh, it's got uh, W O L D, uh, Cats in the Cradle, uh, 30,000 Pounds of Bananas, Taxi, you know. These bigger heads. And what the else do you need? Uh, this is a comp. Rockin' 50s. For baby boomers. And a JCI label. Here's what's on it. Most of these I've, I've got like a cassette. Not the 50s, but the 60s. Baby boomers in the 60s. Uh, you know, Summertime Blues, Eddie Cochran, Bruce Lee's Shoes, Carl Perkins, Chantilly Lace, Big Bopper, Beef Bopalula, Gene Vincent, C. Uh, Cruz, Freddie Ford, Peggy Sue, Buddy Holly, uh, Big Balls of Fire, Jerry Lewis, Little Richard, Keep It Knocking, uh, Ain't That a Shame, Fast Domino, uh, Boney Maroney. Uh, Larry Williams, which I'm more familiar with, Johnny Winter's version, but this is the original version. Uh, Willie and the Hand Jive, uh, Johnny Otis, and Maybelline, Chuck Berry. Really good tunes on this. Uh, this goes in, uh, it's one of them by this, this lady I don't have. Taking my time with uh, Bonnie Ray. I don't have this one. Yeah. 
I don't have this one. This is from uh, 1970 something or other. Uh, don't know. I don't see a year on this thing. And it's in the mid 70s, you can tell by the label. Oh, I found, I'll find out one day soon. I haven't done the Discord thing yet, so. I don't see a year on it, so whatever. But it's funny, right? Here. Uh, this was inspired by uh, 20P. They showed this in one of his recent videos. Uh, Bragged about it like crazy. Um, Chickman Gioni. Got me a copy, man. He's seen how great this is. And I take his word for it. Uh, no telling. Honest man, good man. But yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm not really uh, big on any kind of jazz or stuff like that. But uh, um, why not? Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's a little scuffed up. I don't really care. Uh, it's a crying chains, a scratch in the sky. Y Columbia, it's, it's, it's a little scuffed up, man. But I'm sure it plays. I mean, I don't see any deep scratches, I see scuffs on it. But uh, it's probably a little noisy. That's all right. The back of it. And the last one, uh, yay, yay! Uh, the last one. Really surprised me, but when when I saw it, it suddenly clicked in my head. I saw these two guys together on TV, actually on Hee Haw together playing, and I was surprised to see uh, this one gentleman. This is Roy Clark, Geek Mouse Brown making music. That really surprised me. I'd never seen this before. I'd never heard of this before. I did see the guys together on um, a hee haul, like I said. And it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, this is cool. This is very, very cool. Uh, I didn't go into the details of uh, who else played on it, but all I know Gatemouth Brown and Roy Clark. Country Blues, man. It's got to be country blues. It's got to be great. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. That's it. And that's all for today, little folks. Oh, my God. I almost said half an hour. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to let it drag out this long. Uh, I just get talking. I, I lose myself and my thought. <laughs> mm, yeah, just a thought. Uh, but thank all my new subscribers. Uh, I'm up to 222, something like that. Uh, thanks. I'm lucky I get 50. So, you know, I'm extremely boring. I don't half, don't know half the shit that I know. I think I know, I should say. <coughs> and um, oh, uh, smoke. Sorry I wasn't very talkative today. Um, but when I'm crazy digging, man, I'm just, I'm zoning. You know? I don't hear anything. I don't listen to anybody. Anybody's talking to me. I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So, I apologize if you, th if you th thought that I was ignoring you. I'm not. <laughs> I just get going and I'm just lost forever. So I'm done with the box. Anyway, it's been almost a half an hour. I'm sorry. Uh, till next time, you guys take care. Be safe. And let's just hope things work out in this world. It's fucking insane. 
after we fucking insane. So, sorry about the language, but it's the only thing you can describe it. So, peace, love. See you later. See you, Topper, Rick, Don, all you guys, Mike. Bye.